In this video, I'm going to show you the best blitz against gun tight slots halfback weak in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the 46 defensive playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire ebook on the 46 defensive playbook, make sure to join our Patreon. That'll be linked in the description. Ten bucks to get you access to everything over at the Patreon page, all ebooks, all of our updates as well. We've got over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks, and we're dropping a brand new update this week. So make sure that you're in the Patreon if you're not. DB Fire 2, and uh, we're going to run it a little bit differently than the current meta. Kind of meta right now is to basically go into your coaching adjustments and turn this on to base align. We're actually not going to run it on base align. Um, we're just going to run it as is. So DB Fire 2, and we're going to come out and play Flood. Now, the setup for this is really simple. Uh, all we're going to do is we are going to spread our defensive line. We're going to QB contain and then we're gonna crash our defensive line down. So as you can see here, this is the setup. And what you're gonna notice is it's gonna create kind of a nice little concept within DB Fire 2 that a lot of people aren't really taking a look at. And that is this loop concept on the left. Now, we're not we're gonna combine two concepts in one, and I think this is the key to making this kind of a sustainable blitz in terms of it being able to attack multiple pass protection schemes. As you can see right here, we're getting that really fast loop concept on the left. On the right, we're going to get more of a standard edge rush. Now, I'll show you how we can loop on both sides uh, as well. All you have to do to loop on both sides is QB contain and just slide this corner in off the edge. So you see here, that's literally all we did. We QB contained, we spread the line, and we slid the corner in. And what you'll see here is you'll get the double loop variation. Now the reason that I actually suggest the first setup is because I think it's easier because I don't have to manually move anybody uh, so I can set it up super fast and if they block, let's say they block their running back, that's going to pick up one side. It's not typically going to pick up both sides of the pressure uh, as you can see right there. Now the other beauty of this is you can actually run this out of spinner. So if I audible over here to the man coverage version of spinner, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same setup. I'm going to QB contain, spread my line, crash my line down, and I'm going to man that running back up with this linebacker. So you see here, this is what the player looks like. And again, same basic thing. You're going to get incredible pressure off of the edge, as you can see. So I love this blitz. I think this is one of the best blitzing concepts in the entire game. Um, there's, like I said, there's, there's, there's so many ways to skin a cat, right? There's so many ways to run this blitz. But I also do like to just stack these guys on the edges and uh, just get the double loop as well as you see, just super fast pressure. And this is a nuance, and uh, I'll show you one other formation. The tight slots is definitely the meta right now, and you see how fast this blitz kind of comes in. And it's really like, you don't have to do a whole lot, you know, like you just contain and, and go. Um, and I think it's actually really good. Now you notice there on the left side, Real quick, another thing about this is you see here, I move this guy in off the edge and then we don't actually spread our line. Sometimes that can actually create a better loop. So just kind of tinker with that a little bit, formation to formation. But this core concept of putting this guy on a contain, sliding him in, I think has been one of the best blitzing concepts for the last three to four years. And we're seeing that it's consistently really powerful. It's just hard. It really dumbs up the offensive line. Now, I did want to show you this against a couple other formations uh, so that you can see how we can adjust it formation to formation. The primary other formation I wanted to show it against is Gun Bunch, and we'll just do it against Verts. So DB Fire 2. Now, again, try to keep this. This is why if you look at this variation of DB Fire, this guy is so far outside. It doesn't make a lot of sense for us to move him in. It's going to take too long. So what I like to do is literally just QB contain, crash my line down, and you can actually spread your line and bunch pretty effectively as you see right here. So you see now we have a loop concept on the right and we have an edge rush concept on the left. So you see here, blitz comes in, loop comes in. What I like about the loop is it dumbs out a lot of pass protection. So general, general pass pro for dollar against bunch is really this right here right um to try to basically pick up the left side and then hope your line uh picks up the opposite side when you run this variation of the blitz it can create different pass uh, protections and really dumb out some of the slide protection methods that a lot of people use so by using the double loop it really does make it so that's a little bit i think just a little bit better um now also if i leave this defensive lineman stacked underneath like this 
take a look here, you're going to see it's going to oftentimes create a little disengage on that right side. So that's something else to kind of just, you know, again, just tuck away uh, with this, you know, super simple. You can walk this guy in off the edge. OK, I, I don't want you to think that you can't. You can certainly walk this guy in off of the edge like here and you'll see it'll create, you know, kind of a disengage. But I think for spread out formations, the side that that guy naturally goes down with, which in this example is going to be that other side, leave him on his blitz angle. It's going to be really effective. And then you can just run your loop on the opposite side, as you see right here. So super good blitz, in my opinion. Um, a lot. If I baseline real quick, I'll show you. If I baseline against Bunch, you see that movement right there. Now, now what you want to do is walk this guy down on a contain and then, you know, you can run it like this. But I think the stacking on the hips is really what makes that loop concept so good. And you can do it out of multiple formations. So if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, we have everything in the four six. We have three three, three three five, uh, or three three uh, cub, nickel over, dollar, dime normal, big nickel over G, all those concepts, everything you need to be successful, all that stuff is in the Patreon. The link is in the description. Ten dollars gets you access to everything. And thanks for watching the video.